Hello and welcome to the Reiki Gem Wellness Channel. Today we're going to be doing a guided meditation with the gemstone Rhodonite, the stone of enduring love. And for those who've listened to my guided meditations before, welcome back. And for those who are new to the channel, my name is Shannon and I'm a certified Reiki master and teacher and a certified gemologist. And I combine those skills and passions to provide you with the knowledge, the tools, and the opportunities to practice incorporating crystal healing into your daily life. And guided meditations are an opportunity to practice working directly with the energy of a gemstone to see if it's one that's supportive for you. And today we're going to be doing that with Rhodonite. And Rhodonite is the stone of enduring love. And it is a pink and black and gray stone. And it stimulates both the heart and the root chakra. And I am wearing Rhodonite today. And I have the bracelets and Rhodonite pendants available in my Etsy store. If you feel like Rhodonite is a stone that calls to you, and the link for my Etsy store will be in the description below. Also, if you haven't already watched the video Improving Your Life with Rhodonite, you may want to pause this video and check that one out. I'll put the link in the eye above, and that will give you a good feel for the benefits and the energy of Rhodonite before we start the meditation. If you have a piece of Rhodonite, this is a good time to go get it. And it's okay if you don't have any rhodonite, you will totally benefit from this guided meditation. If anything really calls to you, makes you feel comfortable, or triggers you, then that's a sign that you should get some rhodonite and work with it some more. So you can sit through this guided meditation without the stone, just imagine it in your mind and see if it feels like you're drawn to it. So if you have your rhodonite, put that to the side. We're not going to use it right at the start. But the next important thing is to find a comfortable place to sit. So it could be on a cushion on the floor. It could be in a chair, on a couch, or outside directly on the ground. But the most important thing about your seat is that you feel comfortable and that you can sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes through the guided meditation. So once you've got your stone or you're ready to imagine it in your mind and you've got your comfortable seat, then let's get started. I invite you to close your eyes and take a couple of long, deep breaths. And just breathe. And bring your awareness to your breathing and to your body and just Take a look at what's going on in your body right now. See if there's any pain, tension, if you feel comfortable or not. Just see how you feel at the beginning. your awareness to your seat and to the places where you connect to your seat and the ground beneath you. This is your point of presence, your point of grounding. And to realize that 
you are sitting on top of the entire earth connected to the energy of the entire earth and its mass supports you completely during this meditation. And then pick up the piece of rhodonite and put it in your non-dominant hand. This is your receiving hand that will receive the healing energy of the rhodonite. And just allow it to move around in your hand. Take a minute to get to know how this stone feels to you. Its weight, its texture, if there are any cracks, if it's totally smooth, and just get to know this piece of rhodonite. And if you don't have the rhodonite, just picture a pretty pink and black stone in your mind. Take a look again, again at holding the rhodonite. Not trying to force anything or make anything happen. We're just observing and taking note of any changes. And place your attention on your heart area. And imagine a beautiful flower blooming open at your heart. And light shines from this bloom and surrounds you and keeps you warm. And then sit with this image of rhodonite energy for a minute. Rhodonite is the stone of enduring love. While you're holding or imagining the stone and its energy, reflect on the following questions. Are you currently recovering from a heartache or grieving the loss of a loved one? Do you, are you having a difficult relationship with a friend or a relative right now? Maybe having an argument or a disagreement with them, but you still care about them? Do you feel like you are a friend to yourself? Or do you experience a high amount of self-criticism or judgment? Do you blame yourself for mistakes in past relationships or for the end of a relationship? How do you feel? 
feel about your capacity for compassion towards others? And how about for those that you don't know so well? All of these situations can be aided by Rhodonite. And if one of these scenarios stood out to you more than the others, bring that back to your mind, to your heart. And let's sit with that for another minute or two while you're holding the Rhodonite. And notice if anything changes about the way you feel about that situation while you're holding the rhodonite. It's okay if it doesn't because it could take some time or repeated meditations. We're just watching and noticing what's happening. And bring your awareness back to your body. And notice how your body feels now, how your emotions and mind feels. And just take note if anything has changed since the beginning of this meditation. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Release the image of the rhodonite energy. Play, release the situation. Put down the rhodonite and then just breathe. Just come back to your body and breathe. When you feel ready, then open your eyes. And thank you so much for joining me today in a guided meditation with Rhodonite, the stone of enduring love. And I hope you found it valuable and I hope you found something useful working with the energy of rhodonite. And these meditations are meant to be repeated. So if the scenarios and the energy of the rhodonite really called to you or really made you feel uncomfortable, then those are signs that you should get a piece of rhodonite if you don't already have it and then repeat these meditations two to three times a week for a couple of weeks until you can very quickly call up the energy of rhodonite within you just by picking it up or even by thinking about it. So if you're having an argument with your spouse, you can pick up the stone 
and feel grounded in your heart and remember to bring love into the situation. This is the core of how to incorporate crystal healing into your everyday life by identifying situations you need support with, identifying the stones that will help you, and identifying when you can use them and then using them. So I talk about a new gemstone every single week. On Thursdays, I post a video about the supportive benefits of that gemstone. And on Saturdays, I post a guided meditation with that gemstone. So if you're interested in doing an intensive study on the energies of different stones and how they can help you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified anytime I post a new gemstone video. So thank you very much and I hope to see you again next week.